mitosis and cell division, leaving cert exam questions. So in this short video, we'll just go through some of the higher level questions that have appeared over the years. So let's begin with 2021. And before we start, just note that the diagrams that appear in this video, I've tried to reproduce them as best I can to make them as similar to those that appeared in the actual exam papers. So let's run through the question. What is the stage of mitosis shown? It's anaphase. Remember, A equals OA. Justify your answer. So explain how you know that this is anaphase. This is anaphase because the chromosomes have been separated. This happened because the spindle fibres shortened or contracted. Identify the part labelled X. It's a spindle fibre. Explain the term diploid. This means that there are two sets of chromosomes in the cell. So remember the chromosomes occur in pairs, or you could say there are two sets of chromosomes in the nucleus of the cell. What is the diploid number of this cell? It's four. So we can write it as 2n equals to 4. Outline a function of mitosis in humans. Mitosis is used for growth or for cell renewal in humans. Give one example of a human cell that's not produced by mitosis. Well, the gametes, the sex cells, the sperm and the egg, they're produced by meiosis. This is 2019 higher level and in this year there was a photograph on the paper. It looked very unclear, I've tried to reproduce it here. But if you do get something like this, always pick out what you can. Look for metaphase or anaphase, they're generally easy to pick out. Which type of microscope is used in the school lab to observe these cells? It's the light microscope, but to be exactly correct we would say the compound light microscope. The first cell is in prophase. Give two observable events that happen during prophase. The nuclear membrane breaks down. Chromosomes are now visible because chromatin has condensed and spindle fibres form. On the photograph, use the letter M to label a cell that's undergoing metaphase. Remember, metaphase is where the chromosomes line up across the middle or the equator of the cell. On the photograph, use the letter A to label a cell that is undergoing anaphase. Remember, anaphase A equals away, so the chromosomes are being pulled apart, separated. After mitosis, the cell divides in two. This is cytokinesis. This happens differently in animal cells and in plant cells. Describe what happens in animal cells and in plant cells during this stage. In animal cells, a cleavage furrow forms. And this pinches the cell in two. So in plant cells, you need to build new cell walls. So vesicles containing the materials for the new cell walls line up along the middle of the cell. These vesicles fuse, forming a cell plate, and this is responsible for forming the new cell walls. So eventually you end up with two separate plant cells. 2018. What stage of the cell cycle is represented by X? It's interphase, the longest part of the cell cycle. There are two types of cell division, mitosis and meiosis. Define mitosis. Mitosis is a form of nuclear division, where one nucleus divides to form two identical daughter nuclei. State two ways in which meiosis differs from mitosis. The big difference with meiosis is that it halves chromosomal number. Mitosis maintains it. Meiosis produces four daughter nuclei, but in mitosis two are produced. And in meiosis, genetic variation is introduced, whereas in mitosis, all of the nuclei are identical, genetically identical. Explain the term cancer. Cancer is the name given to a group of disorders where mitosis is uncontrolled. 2017. Explain the term diploid. Diploid means two sets of chromosomes in the cell or in the nucleus of the cell. Draw a label diagram to show the positions of the chromosomes during anaphase of mitosis in a diploid nucleus in which 2n equals to 4. Diploid number equals to 4. So here's your sketch. This cell is in anaphase because the chromosomes have been separated. Those sister chromatids have been separated. They're now daughter chromosomes. Four of them are being pulled to one pole and the other four to the opposite pole. So diploid number equals to four. After telophase of mitosis, how do animal cells and then plant cells split in two? So you're going to talk about the cleavage furrow for animal cells and the cell plate for plant cells. In animal cells, a cleavage furrow will form down the middle of the cell and this will eventually pinch the cell in two. In plant cells, vesicles with the materials for the new cell walls will line up along the middle of the cell. They'll fuse to form a cell plate, most important to state cell plate, and eventually two separate plant cells will form. What is the function of mitosis in single-celled organisms and then in multi-celled organisms? Well, in single-celled organisms, it's a means of reproducing, of increasing their numbers. And in multicellular organisms or multi-celled organisms, it's for growth and renewal of cells. 2016. What term is used to describe the long stage in the cell cycle when cell division is not happening? This is interphase. Name two types of biomolecule that are produced in the cell during this stage of the cell cycle. Well, proteins, lipids, carbohydrates. 
Name one organelle that is replicated at this stage of the cell cycle, the mitochondria. Give any two other changes which will have occurred in the cell by the end of this stage of the cell cycle. The DNA has replicated. In animal cells, pairs of centrioles will have appeared in the cell. It's also important to know that the cell will have built up a store of ATP, which is going to now be used to fuel all the activities of mitosis. Suggest why mature red blood cells do not undergo mitosis. They have no nucleus, and mitosis is a form of nuclear division. 2014. Indicate whether the following statements are true or false. Single-celled organisms use meiosis for asexual reproduction. False. They use mitosis. In telophase of mitosis, a cleavage furrow forms in plant cells. False. A cleavage furrow only forms in animal cells. When a cell is not dividing, it's said to be in prophase. False. It's said to be in interphase. The nuclear membrane disappears in the early part of mitosis. True. Centromeres give rise to the nuclear spindle. That's false. Centromeres are found in chromosomes. Mitosis is a source of genetic variation. That's false. Mitosis does not introduce genetic variation. That's meiosis. In multicellular organisms, mitosis is primarily used for growth. That's true. Last question. 2013. Draw a label diagram to show the position of the chromosomes during metaphase of mitosis in a nucleus in which diploid number equals to 6, 2n equals to 6. So remember, metaphase, meet in the middle, this is where the chromosomes are lined up across the middle of the cell. So make sure you draw six of them and make sure that you show that they're across the centre of the cell and they are not yet separated. Those sister chromatids are not separated. So that was just some of the exam questions that have appeared for mitosis at higher level. It's always worth doing both the higher level and the ordinary level questions when you're getting ready for your exams. It gives you good exposure to lots of different diagrams and different ways in which the questions can be phrased. Always do the questions and check the official marking schemes on examinations.ie. The very best of luck.